The Olympics has been a complete and utter disaster this year, and it all started with that disgusting, demonic opening ceremony. And then, of course, it was exposed that the Olympics is allowing some man to compete that's been charged with our wording a little girl. And then this morning, things got 10 times worse because now it's been put on blast that the Olympics changed their rules and they are allowing someone who's technically a man to compete against women in boxing. Now, this is something I already knew. This is something that people have already been talking about, but it wasn't until people actually saw a match. They, actu they actually saw this person who's technically a man punch a real woman in the face and that's when the realization set in. Because, you know, a lot of people don't like the idea of men competing against women, but they don't feel as strongly about it because they don't witness how this stuff actually goes down. And it's one thing when it's Leah Thomas and swimming and no one's getting hurt, but when it comes to a sport like boxing, that realization really sets in when you see an actual woman get punched full force in the face by someone who is technically a man. So the outrage is coming and people are upset, but there is a little discrepancy here. There's a little confusion here. A lot of people are accusing Iman Khalif of being transgender. But from what I've seen, Amon may not be transgender at all. She or he or it, let's call it an it, was possibly born with some type of disorder, like uh, I believe it's DSD, or D it's something along those lines. Basically, someone born with female body parts, but has XY chromosomes, so they're technically a man because of the Y, obviously but also heightened levels of testosterone. So the debate right now going online is, oh, everyone's calling Amon Khalif transgender. Of course, the other side, they're claiming, no, Amon Khalif is a woman. Amon Khalif was born a woman. And that's where things really get interesting and hilarious because the same people who cannot define what a woman is, all of a sudden they know what a woman is when it comes to defending this person that was kind of technically born a dude that's beating up women in the ring. Now, all of a sudden, they know what a woman is. Now, all of a sudden, no, Amon Khalif is a real woman. What do you mean, real woman? I thought everyone who claimed they were a woman was a real woman. So that's why a lot of this confusion is going on. It's because this is what they want. That's why they've introduced this weird nonsense into society questioning people's genders. What are you? What are they? You know, this is the confusion that this is all about. So they want you questioning things. And then when people explain to you, wait, Amon Khalif is a woman, how can you believe them? Because they won't define to you what a woman actually is. So everyone's running around really trying to figure out, wait, what, what in the heck is really going on here? But from what I've gathered, Amon Khalif has this disorder Aman ha Khalif has been banned from competing against women already because tests were done and they proved that, wait, this is kind of a dude with extreme levels of testosterone, more testosterone than most of the actual dudes watching this video. So understand, it's already been determined that this person has no business competing against women, but the woke Olympics Oh, they, they want these type of people. They want these type of people. Did you not see the opening ceremony? Of course the Woke Olympics wants grown men beating up women. Of course they want grown men competing in all of these sports against women. This is the stuff that they are literally promoting. And they promoted it really heavily with their opening ceremony. And the sad part is that women are always the victims when it comes to stuff like this, okay? This doesn't work the other way around. We're not worried about a biological woman competing against the men in boxing and killing them in the ring, no. It's always the women who are the victims here. But 
women are largely responsible for how we got here because it was the feminist that thought for us that got here and it was women sympathizing with these creepy dudes who claim, I feel like I was born in the wrong body. I feel like I'm a woman. It was the women sympathizing with these weirdos that got us here. And now look, it's the women who are the victims. It's the women who are having their dreams ripped away, literally having gold medals and awards and what have you, you know, ripped away from them by dudes or almost dudes. <laughs> you know, women are having their names, you know, women's names are no longer going to be written in the history books because the dudes are breaking all the records. It's absolutely disgusting. It's really disgusting, but things are only getting worse because now we're witnessing this live on television at the Olympics. At first it was, oh, we just want to dress how we want to dress. And then it was, we want to use what bathroom we want to use. Then it was, we want to talk to your kids about this. Now it's just come full circle to, hey, we want to beat the crap out of women live on television. Now, <laughs> and then you hear conversations, you hear the debate. Well, who do you feel safer in the woods with? A bear or a man? And women are picking the bear. <laughs> Just like they pick dudes to, you know, participate in women's sports. It's absolutely, um, words can't express how disgusted I am by stuff like this. But until more people start speaking out, we're not going to see a change. And as far as I'm concerned, I was actually excited about the Olympics. I was actually planning on watching as much of the Olympics as I could, but after the opening ceremony, I haven't watched anything, not a single drop. The only thing I've really seen was today. I saw the highlights of this, technically a man, boxing this woman in the face. <laughs> That's basically the majority of what I've seen from the Olympics, but it perfectly rep represents what the Olympics is now. But as I was saying earlier, I think the best part of all of this is watching these people who don't know what a woman is. They can't tell you the definition of what a woman is. But now all of a sudden today, they're fighting desperately to convince you that Amon Khalif is a woman. Right? And, and they're getting angry. They're getting irate. They're having meltdowns. But these are the same people that said gender is all basically fake, that you can be whatever you want to be, right? <laughs> you can just be whatever you want to be. There's no such thing as gender. You can create your own gender if you want to. If you're a man that wants to be a woman, you can be a woman. If you're a woman that wants to be a man, you can be a man. But now all of a sudden, when it comes time to try to defend one of these people, they know for a fact, wait, no, Ahmad Khalif is a real woman. And then they're labeling people as bigots or or as hateful people for questioning things, for questioning gender, when that's what they're all about. They're all about questioning gender constructs. They're all about questioning what is gender. Why do we have to be this? Why do we have to be that? But then when we question, when we question, you know, and, and start asking questions about gender, now we're bigots. And we're supposed to believe the people who said there's no such thing as a difference between men and women, we're all the same and can be whatever we want to be. Now we're supposed to listen to them as the experts on women. <laughs> but that's how desperate they are. They hate women. Make no mistake about it. These people hate women. Even the women who promote this stuff, they hate women as well. And they love it. They get off on seeing these technically kind of dudes punching on women because they despise women because they want to be women and they despise women who go against their ideology against their religion because that's what this is all of this lgbtq furry you know trans nonsense it's not you know sexual preferences it's not about sexual preferences anymore this is their religion and they hate that some women are now against it because they're becoming victims of some of the stuff that they actually fought for. But for now, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and remember to remain opinionated.